New York City. And this is Neil Harbison. He has never seen color. Born with a condition called achromatopsia, he only sees a world of black and white. I was always curious about color because everyone is using it in, in daily life. They are mentioning it every single day. So I, I was interested in sensing color, not because I wanted to change my sight, but because I wanted to have this element of color in my life. With the help of a team of engineers and doctors, he created something straight out of science fiction. Neil had an electronic device implanted inside his skull. So this is a, a color sensor, it picks up light frequencies. It sends the light frequency to a chip and then the chip transforms the light frequency into a, a real vibration that, that moves inside the skull. So the vibration in my skull becomes a sound in my inner ear and each color has a different vibration, so it, it creates a different note. So now the antenna is picking up the light frequencies of this color. People can see the light frequencies and they say it's blue. I can say it's blue because the light frequencies are being converted into a vibration in my skull. In the same way that people can see this frequency, I can sense it through vibrations in my head. So for example, red is very low, it's an F, and then blue sounds C sharp, and the green sounds A. So when I look at this wall, I hear lots of music. So it's a musical wall, and there's lots of sound coming out of these colors. The next stage that was a big stage was when I started to dream in color. So when I sleep, my brain creates the sound of color, so I dream in color, and that was a, also a very big uh, emotional step. There's something absolutely amazing going on here. You see, the pathways in Neil's brain have adapted to these new sensory inputs. And over time, it's got to the extent that he doesn't need to even hear a particular sound to relate it to a specific colour. It's happening automatically. To the extent that when he goes to sleep and the machine is turned off, his brain can still produce those sounds so that he can dream in colour. What about that? The technology has fused to the circuitry in his brain, effectively making Neil a cyborg. A cyborg.